Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I am here discussing Arcade Chroniacs once more. Just admire my Fortnite gameplay as we talk about a 3am from channel. I've noticed quite the shift in the videos. I've noticed that my previous video had an impact on the creation in recent times. Them being a lot more lore focused, which is great for me because I get to update my series with better lore and stuff. These past few episodes, they have fleshed out Edward and Nicole, which is something they desperately needed because they seem like they had no pa personality or back backstory. Other than be funny and be gay, that's it. But they've improved that tremendously with giving Edward his backstory and his favourite cuisine and an actual show of love towards Nicole. And speaking of Nicole. It's been shown in a whopping 33 minute long BTS movie. BTS movie video made by RK Craniacs. That Nicole has agreed to help the EXEs, men and young crew, to get, get the limited limited edition BTS light up glow. She obviously regrets this now, seems to be a running trend and people have come across the EXEs. <coughs> Bald guy. <coughs> As she forced, as she is forced into giving Edward the BTS potion, which turns out to be a Karen potion. Speaking of that moment, John Ku says that we ran out of BTS potions. Who is the we? Is it the other BTS boys? No, it's the other EXCs. I don't think it's a theory anymore that I created. I think it's fact. I also have a little mini theory on John Ku's doll. I think it's really a doll with a walkie-talkie inside allowing the others to talk to Jungkook. The one who chokes him out in the end is Chuck E. Cheese, but he is restrained by other UXCs, and that's why Jungkook was able to get back up, and he got called back for like a... by turning into like the beauty code or anything like that. Another thing, there was a clone of Jungkook that appeared in the corner holding a bunch of Jungkook dolls. I think this symbolises what happens to victims of the EXEs. People ended up like Bold Guy, getting cursed, breaking it, being turned into a clone of a character so that they always have a replacement if needed backup. So some would say if they needed a backup, some would say. Get it because backup the EXEs of computer character. Anyway, that's all the lore in the BTS movie. On to the second video out of our three, the Luca potion. First, I'll discuss what happened to Nicole. So, Nicole was 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 left in the room alone to drink the Luca potion. But as soon as that happened, they the EXE character saw a chance to kidnap her and get into a meeting where they can probably plan out another way to get Edward for some limited edition items or power for the ability to go into the server any time. So um, maybe like sleeping potions, more potion ability. I have no idea. But point is, they kidnapped Nicole. She leaves her hat behind as a little indication. Edward doesn't really care because he's too busy smelling her butt uh, that, that was left behind on the chair. Anyway, while the meeting's happening, Edward and Bold Guy, who I'll, discuss, who I'll discuss in a second, are walking around and find a clone looter. You know how I talk about clones in the, in the first part, saying that. They're just the people who got cursed by Bold Guy. Bold. Edward doesn't know about this clone. He thinks it's Nicole turned into Luca. But Bold Guy knows the truth since he's connected to to the um, server. He just can't. He just can't speak until until. Um, and tell Edward that Nicole is safe. Anyway. 
Luca is able to return through a portal and ties up the coal while he has a rest before take, take, taking a bath for more planning. Because, well, he has to recharge so he can return home, so he just takes a lie down and ties Nicole up so that she doesn't kill him or whatever. Then, Edward and Bold Guy go back upstairs to the same room where Nicole was before and find her there. But what? Edward and Tizer and Bold Guy who knew the the last one was a clone literally dips because he knows he's been helping Edward and Nicole and he really doesn't want that smoke so he leaves he dips out he's called he's called a wimp by Edward but, but he will cover his next episode And Nicole claims to not know what happened, but she does know. She just has to keep it a secret from Edward or or she'll be killed. This is the reason the EXE characters like making deals and cursing people. It's just kind of their whole thing. So if there's any other characters that appear in the future, they just kind of just kind of end up disappearing. Oh wait. Yeah. I know it wasn't in the this part but what happened to the kga maybe they went out exploring maybe they were like this case is hopeless let's leave maybe they just didn't want to make videos of edward anymore so it's hard to leave remember nutty d was killed on nutty d sorry wrong pronunciation i don't know how it's said or spelt basically he got killed on the boat supposedly and and Daniel was kidnapped by Dora. But until the next Dora episode happens, we don't know if he got turned into a clone. Or he's just like somewhere in the server. And if a Chuggy Deep clone does appear, then that possibly could be an ID. So Yeah. Anyway. That's the end of this. That's the end of this section. But there's also one more thing I want to talk about. I don't think I've mentioned. But in this episode, since since um, Edward has no relationship with Luca, he's able to openly speak about Nicole, which is actually really nice. We get to actually see their relationship dynamic. And what is a bit saucy like usual, it's really nice. So I'm hoping that more non-relationship characters appear so we can get more natural stuff with the Colin and Edward. That's the end of this section, I'll see you in the next one. The most recent video I've as of editing slash recording is a space jump to happy meal and being the same length as the bts movie i knew it was going to be lore packed but most of it was them trying out the stuff being discussed by it and then haha funny but we got a lot more lore for the surprise appearance of chuck e cheese and i was like whoa because i was like oh my god lore and and edward gets more developed with the magical Michael Jordan jersey. Now, we're not sure if that gives him his powers, or maybe he... W and I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure he was just, like, a really good basketball player in his youth. But I don't want to say that's part of the lore. Maybe he's just a really good basketball player. So. At, when Nicole and Edward go to pick up the... The Happy Meal from one of the Postmates. A bold guy is in the back with the Happy Meal. He isn't eating it, he's just vibing. 
I love bald guys' appearances, by the way. Keep them up. They're all they're always funny. I like the ding! Whatever happens. So. He was going to fly away on the airport because the place they keep visiting is actually just his house and he's sleeping there. They're not following him. He's not following them. Well, he actually is because it, that was the deal. He just has to make his own write down story. <laughs> Little story for for a cover up. And he just says that that they're creeping him out. We'll get we'll get we'll get to why that story the cover up. Basically, we know that he's cursed, and if he speaks, then he's gonna die. And or if he helps Edward and Nicole, he's going to die because because the EXE's main goal is to torture Edward and Nicole. So if he so if he's meant to be a spy for them, then and he's helping out the people he's supposed to be spying on, so that so that they can be tortured. Well, he's gonna die. And lo and behold, my theory came true. I'll get to it in a minute. Right. So. He, he just didn't want to end it there. That's why he was trying to get away. But, well, Edwin and Nicole are eating the Happy Meal. He bolts out of the car. He probably has like magical demon powers from the Xerxes. And he's able to get back to the house. By this point, Chuck E. Cheese has showed up in the basketball court, pretending to be Bugs Bunny. And, and they're playing and Edwin beats, beats him. And he just tries to grab the camera. He doesn't directly hurt Edward and Nicole because, once again, he he has a relationship with Nicole, and Nicole was the one holding the camera, so he just tried to grab the camera. We're not sure why at the moment. Maybe it's just his way of attacking. But, but he would have attacked directly if he was going to do that. But anyway, both guy enters, and. Edward and Nicole are upstairs because of that attack and they look down at the basketball court and surprisingly the entrance to the building they're in is right directly into the basketball course and Chucky Cheese is there and Bold Guy just entered being that Chucky Cheese and Bold Guy are face to face and remember their deal that I just discussed a few minutes ago that he's gonna die if he doesn't if he if he helps Edward and Nicole. And lo and behold, he dies. Chuck E. Cheese pummels in the bold guy and ends up killing him. He just ends up leaving after that. He probably just like calls the other eight cities like the job is done. That's one one down, one of them doing them. Not but before Chuck E. Cheese can come back with reinforcements Edward's already down there and gives him the magical Michael Jordan jersey and revives him. And then, in a really good turn of events, but I'm actually happy happened, he hugs Edward and, it's, and from now on in the videos is going to be helping them for adventures, which I think is pretty cool. Edward and Nicole are going to care for him and the bald guy's now the most wholesome character and I really hope this is the truth maybe he broke the curse by dying and being broken off from the EXEs so maybe he can speak again or if he doesn't want to speak on the videos then he can just like write him down on notes 
Like that could be his little character. He could just be a mute. You just be a mute character that writes down on notes like plans and stuff. Maybe you can draw little images instead of writing words. I think that'd be cute. Right. So that's what happened in the space Jam video. It's packed with law in the final few minutes. And thank God it was because that was the because that's the last video I'm going to be seeing. Anyway, let's head to my closing thoughts. So, these past few episodes have been amazing. I love the lore, the character building, and I love that after my video, all guy gets an actual canon name because I just called him the Mystery Man. But now he's got an official name. I was like, oh? Reference to me? Oh? And law kicks into overdrive after I make my first roll video. Sadly, I haven't got a comment from them, which was expected, but I may or may not have gotten a quote from them. In the BTS movie, vid, I quote, We are RK Craniacs, the best channel on YouTube. And that was the exact intro for my first roll video. And <laughs> it's really cool I got that little, little tiny little mention. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I'll be going on holiday, so don't expect any videos from me anytime soon. Anyway, love you all. See you guys next time. Bye.